everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Angeline and I am the owner of Angelic Creations. So we are back with another Easter DIY video. So let's get started with the materials that you're going to need in order to create this project. So I have some sour belts candy that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I have some chocolate that I purchased from Walgreens. You will need some pretzel bags. I purchased mine from Walmart. And you will need some kebab sticks. I purchased these from Walgreens a few years ago. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my double-sided tape and I'm gonna apply it to my kebab stick. So I'm just gonna peel off a little bit and I'm gonna allow it to spiral. Just like so. Until you get to whatever you want it to stop to. So I'm going to have mine stop about here. So you're just going to keep going until you get enough. And it is sticky. So once you have gotten it down to where you want it to stop, you can cut it off. Just going to take my scissors and cut the remaining piece. Okay, so now that you have your double-sided tape or your kebab stick, you're now going to apply your candy, your chocolate rather. So I'm going to place one on the front, and I'm going to place one on the back, like so. And I'm going to use my other two candies to do the same. So I have some Starburst. And I also have some Kit Kat. And now you have something that looks like this. Okay, so once you have applied your candy, you want to take your pretzel bags, open them up, and now you're going to place your candy inside of the bag. And ideally, one additional thing out, you would need some um, streamer. So I'm just going to give me some streamer. Tie it onto my bag. Okay. Now I'm going to tie a double knot. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to create some spirals like this. Okay. So now we have something that looks like this. So as you can see, one of my kebab sticks has poked through the top. So be careful when giving these to children. So I just cut that piece off and now we have something that looks like this. So I'm calling this like a chocolate kebab, candy kebab. Something like that. Okay, so let's get started with our next one. So next I have some peeps that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I have some suckers, egg-shaped suckers that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well. And now this is where I'm going to apply my sour belts. Now I have already done one, so I have a little, um, what's this? Some little sour, salty uh, sugar from the sour belts from the previous one. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So I'm gonna take out one of my peats. They are really soft, so just be gentle with them. And I'm gonna place my peats on the side so that because they're sticky so you don't want them to get stuck to the bag when you're pushing them in the bag so i'm just going to apply some salt to them on the side so that it's easy to apply in the bag okay and you will know when you've gotten enough when it doesn't stick to the parchment paper so this is parchment paper okay so we're going to apply that there now you're gonna get your sour bills. 
as many as you like. I'm going to apply three to mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them. Like so. Just like this. And as you can see here, the sour sugar is falling on the parchment paper. So that's the extra sour um, salt that I got when I use it to put on the side of the piece. And I'm going to do the same thing with these last two. And apply it. Like the last one. Okay. So just be mindful they are messy. <laughs> but that's okay. And you can just position it however you like. Something like this look good, good to me. And now I'm going to take my pee. And I'm going to place the uh, skewer right in the center. And I'm going to press it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. So it looks something like this. And now I'm going to take my sucker. And I'm also going to place this a little bit into the pea. So apply it just like in the center of it. So that it covers the kebab stick. Like so. Now we're gonna repeat the same step that we did for the first one. We're gonna take our bag, but now we're gonna move our plastic around our sucker so that it's easy to place the side of the bag. And now we're gonna cover the bag all the way down. And when you get to the peak, yes, it might not be able to go down completely, so what you're gonna do is squeeze the little peak in a little bit, and then shimmy, shake the little bag going, you know, downward. Okay. And nothing is getting stuck because remember we placed the sugars on the side of our peak bag, on the side of our peaks. Okay. Like I said, it is a little messy. <laughs> So now you're going to get another piece of streamer, cut it off. We are done with this here, so you can save it for later if you like. If you're making more of them, that was just a quick way that I found so that the peat would not get stuck to the bag. A little bit did get stuck, but that's okay. The very first one when I did it, the whole bag got covered. So it looked a mess. So I had to find another way to do it. And that was the way. Okay, so we just tie our streamer around the bag. I'm gonna grab our string, give it a little pull. And now we create some curls. So now you should have something that looks like this. So we have both of our kebabs that we made on camera. We have our chocolate and now we have our peats with a little sugar. And I also made this one off camera. But it's the same one as the first one. I just changed the sucker. So really quick, really easy project. Something that you can do with kids. Um, I hope that you all like this video and I hope that you give it a try. If you do, make sure you tag me. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And until next time, bye.